Dímelo mi gente, estamos activos otra vez with David and Kelsey. So we started off with some bench press as you can see. Something like 45s, nothing. I wasn't even struggling mm -hmm. at first. <laughs> so this is what David typically starts with. Um, meanwhile, I'll just start with the bar. Sometimes David will start with the bar too, just depending on how well he was able to stretch before. Yeah, look at the look look at your form, babe. Look is that good or bad? Is. You make me nervous. No, it's a good look. Slow and steady right there. Look at that. Look, look, look. We were joking um, while editing this video because normally when I do chest, I don't do as many reps. But for some reason, when there's a camera, I get some kind of strength out of nowhere and I'm able to do more reps. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, no, you got it right. You racked that. I think it was the other one. And then here I did 225. I can go to 315, and no. you know that, Kelsey. I can do more. Last time I did 365 with the other spotter. You did 245s. Yeah, no, but I do three with the three plates. I did it with the other spotter. I have it on video. I'll do it again. What's, I, what's the number where you feel like you start to feel it? I like 365. <laughs> I don't have anybody, man. I've come close to decapitating myself. Something too, and hopefully there are some girls that are watching this that can maybe comment, let me know I'm not alone. But for women, 15 pounds and 20 pounds and 25 pounds, those are totally different weights. Totally different. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then for this one we did the, uh, what Incline is it Incline bench press machine. Yeah, at an angle and stuff. Oh yeah, Kelsey, and I wanted to tell you uh, and ask you something for our viewers that uh, there's like a big misconception like women not working out chest and stuff because it thinks that it might make them flat chest what do you have to say about that well i was one of those two i thought that at first but then i started doing a lot of research and they say it actually helps like your breast um and the overall shape so i just hold on to that and hope someday you know <laughs> it helps me out yeah, no, and I think it's a big misconception that it does, but I mean, you have to work every muscle because well, if you don't work every muscle, you're going to grow up uneven. And don't get me wrong, I do still notice that there's a trend with women in particular where they want to focus mainly on like lower body, but at least in our gym, and David can account to this, there are more women doing upper body nowadays, um, including chest and all kinds of things, which I think is really good. Yeah, you don't want to skip upper body day and have have a freaking all your weight and mass on your lower body. You need to be well rounded and stuff. So okay, because every muscle works together. Well, then let me ask you this, David. How do you feel about people in particular, and it does typically happen to be women um, that try to do upper body all in one day? Is that something you would advise? No, you need to separate everything, every muscle group, and give them their, you know, respected um time and energy it's like having it's like having five kids it's not like you're gonna spend time with all five kids at the same time and do their ho all homework at the same time mm -hmm. no you need to take time with each <laughs> each individual and stuff so they get the same amount of attention so this was the tricep rope push down which it's funny at first i thought it was called pull down but i was corrected it is push down as you can see look how fast i'm doing it i'm doing it a little bit faster than kelsey because i think the way was too light for me but, I mean, you can yank it and stuff. Oh, look at that angle. Mm, that I angle, like though. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's only for me. So, if you if you, if you don't want to catch this smoke, man, it's, it's, if you say anything bro, in the comments, it's going to be on site. I don't care if it's at church. I don't care if it's – it could be anywhere, bro. You know, it's going to be on site. Oh, yeah. Look, shout out to my barber again. Look, Look at my fade. I get a low fade every week. Speaking of, he's literally going in his lunch break tomorrow. That's how important his haircuts are to him, you guys. I have to I have to stay clean and stuff. <laughs> then then you start to lose respect. Then you don't want to kiss me, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing the V-bar um, tricep pushdown. It's very similar um, in the sense it's also working your triceps, but I feel it's different. I don't know if you can elaborate on that, David. Yeah, so it's a different angle. It's like working your tricep at a different angle. You have to work your every muscle at a different angle, even chest press, because a muscle can get lazy, and you have to shock it, like try to hit it at, at different angles. You know what I mean? <laughs> but for me, the 
V bar is easier than the rope. I feel like I can do more weight on the V bar than I can on the rope. Um, so now I'm doing the seated cable fly. Um, David doesn't do this. So I do this one while you'll see him do the dual axis decline chest press. Yeah, so I mean the decline chest press um, focuses more if you're like a bodybuilder. But I mean, personally, I don't think really females need to do the de the decline. But I mean, it's up to everybody. I mean, you can do it. But this is what Kelsey does right next to me yeah. while I'm doing this. No yeah. hate to the females that do the dual axis, though. Yeah, look, as you can see, I'm really filling out this large T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's a, little, yeah, it's a little bit too short. <laughs> I'm not going to say the brand or anything because they're not paying me. They <laughs> should be paying me, but they ain't. So, and I, oh, yeah, and then we went on to do some dips. I feel so. like, though, what you said about shirts is a common problem with males, just as, like, the pants are with females, how pants with females, they'll roll down. But with males, it's kind of the opposite, because if you're a medium or a large, but you're tall, it's most likely going to ride up on you or be too short. So that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I know. So sometimes, yeah, shirts can fit you, like, good as in, uh, like, width, and then they could be, like, short like on the waist and then on the arms always fit super tight and everything and stuff like that. But yeah, dips. Look at that. I'm doing them easy. We should we should be wearing the chest, what is it called? The chest things that we bought? The chest weights, the I forgot what they're called. Okay but. guys, so this was my last rep. Um so we're ending out our workout right now, but stay tuned because you're going to watch a cute video of my son and I and us making old bondigas for you guys. Yeah, so just and just to end it, I like that angle. <laughs> Don't be able to alone and say anything on the comments because it's going to be on site. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Aiden. She's my mom. So a lot of you guys may remember this channel as a nursing school channel. Um, just so you know, I am now a registered nurse. I currently work in case management. So if you guys want any content revolved around that, let us know. Yeah! And you're a student, what do you do? So, um... You're a football player? Yeah, I'm a fo first I'm a football player. I, I, and I, I like to play soccer sometimes. And some, and and my favorite part, I like to hang out with my family the most. Yeah. So tonight we're gonna be cooking a bondigas chipotle, and I have yeah. a helper tonight. It's me, Aiden. <laughs> and so if you guys probably have noticed, this channel's mostly been focused on like lifestyle in general, our weekly workouts, um, cooking, things like that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, we would love to continue to do it because we love to film it. But if you guys also want nursing content, like I said, let me know and I would be more than happy to film that for you guys. Yeah! And stay tuned to watch how to make a bunny, guys. Yup! My mom's a good cooker. Okay, guys, so this is some of the ingredients that I use. Um, we did get our meat on sale, so when there. But we used tortillas, chipotle sauce, eggs. Um, I'll list all those seasonings below. Bouillon, tomato bouillon. That's mostly just for the sauce. So this is the hamburger meat, or ground beef, I guess is the proper term. And two eggs and all that seasoning. Yeah, and as you can see, I did not cook any of this. <laughs> I rolled it up in balls. I try to make it as close to the same size as possible, just so it can cook more thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And this is me not cooking anything else. Oh, let's see. What is that? The It's our is... chipotle sauce before I blend it. I was trying to show them um, my ratio to what I use. Yeah. So well, this look, is it, it blended. And it's a nice color. If that looks red, you better take a Bible to the bathroom <laughs> and a candle and stuff. Because they, they use should... too much chipotle. Yeah, they put an extra chipotle and you're going to pray it. Let's see so how you it guys is. can see it's cooking. It's still bloody. Yeah, it's still raw. And it, Aiden is a liar. He did not help. He was playing <laughs> Fortnite, I think, Naruto. And I was watching football. So it's still bloody here. Um, I should have filmed it one more time by the time it was done. But I promised I cooked it longer than that, you guys. <laughs> so this is them done mixed in with the sauce. So you just 
gift from raw to done. <laughs> and then the tortillas. You got to keep I them nice and I didn't show hot. them making my tortillas either. Those are some corn tortillas, nice and steamy, and my Pampered Chef um, tortillas. Hey guys, so we're just now finishing up our dinner. We're watching some TV, some playoff predictions. Let us know in the comments who you guys think is going to win college football playoffs and the championship. What did you rate your food? 20 out of 10. What did you rate it, Aiden? I rated it 9 out of a 10. He oh, says the God. sauce is too sweet. Uh, I, I also rated it 9 out of 10. There's always room for improvement. Well, we will yeah. see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye.